Hi, welcome to day 11 of Mermaid's Magic and Musings. Woohoo, I am back. I didn't get sick. I'm still alive. We will carry on. So, um, this one is cool because... And this is kind of a self-portrait, actually, because I am a Pisces and I kind of modeled her after myself. Um, with some artistic liberty because she doesn't look exactly like me really much at all besides a couple key things. Um, her hair looks like me because I have short hair and it's brown and it's curly and I have a hot pink streak in the front of my, by my face. So yes, I am a Pisces, so that's like me. And her tail and her body is this dark, aquamarine, green, blue color with metallic stuff. And that's totally something I would do if I were a mermaid. That would be my mermaid colors. So, yes, I also did a rose tattoo or peony tattoo. It's a flower. <laughs> um, and that's because I love flower tattoos. I don't have a tattoo, but I think they look pretty. So, um, kind of like me, but kind of not like me. Yes. And then this planet is Neptune, because Neptune is the planet that rules Pisces. And I don't know, I was feeling super Piscean today. And honestly, I think I had like a super emotional day and I was really in my feels. And I was just thinking about heavy stuff. And I really needed a moment to just like decompress and make art from a very like emotional, intuitive center. Um, I don't know if other artists will relate to this, but if you make art for a job or for money, sometimes it's like the fun gets sucked out of it and you don't, you, you stop making art because you want to paint this thing or you stop painting something out of like the therapy um, of just doing it for your own personal enjoyment and you just start doing it like because that's the thing you're supposed to do and you need to upload another thing today. And um... It's weird because like I don't want to stop uploading every day. I like uploading like this and I don't want to stop painting regularly, but I think I need to work in more pieces that are spontaneous and I just jam out to music like I did painting this and just be a little more understanding and forgiving of my emotional states and allow my emotional states to influence my art and actually like help my art instead of hinder my art because I think Getting emotional sometimes can be seen as bad as it's like getting in the way of your productivity, but I think there's a way you can channel your emotions, oops, channel your emotions into creating um, more powerful art that resonates with you deeper and resonates with others who are watching more deeply. So yes, that's, that's what I got from this. And overall, I think this was like a really um, helpful and healing experience to paint from that mindset because that's how I used to paint whenever I was younger like before I got really good at it or did it for money I painted because I loved it and I think I need to do more paintings because I love them so yes anyways I guess that is mostly it I guess that's all I really had to say I don't want to keep rambling on about nothingness if I don't have anything I feel like is important to say because that would be pointless <laughs> um, but I really wanted to mention what I was thinking about when I was painting this and um, what it is why I painted it what I learned through it that's the main gist that I tried to talk about in these videos and I'll leave a list of materials that I used as normal um, at seat link if you would like to purchase this and all my social medias if you want to follow me on Instagram especially because Instagram's cool and I have lots of fun there but um, otherwise thank you for watching I will be back tomorrow with another mermaid of some sort bye